I'm an undergraduate researcher in COD Lab. I took a year off this past year to work full-time as a robot specialist at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, um, where I fixed robots all day. And now I'm back uh, studying again at the University of Pennsylvania, this time to finish my undergraduate and my master's degree. So in sixth grade, I joined the first robotics Lego team. And then again in high school, I joined a first robotics competition team. And I had a lot of fun learning about engineering and building crazy robots and programming. Uh, so I got involved almost by accident um, with COD Lab, which is a uh, subsidiary of the GRASP laboratory at Penn. And they are specifically focused on biologically inspired legged robots and how to get them to move in a, the real world. The, the sort of introduction to the lab was programming the robot. And so I, it was probably one of the hardest things I had ever done that year. Uh, mostly because I was, I'm, hadn't taken any programming classes and I wasn't familiar with the robot at all. Um, and also because it was uh, such a different way of thinking about how a robot moves that I hadn't thought about before since I had only ever worked with wheeled robots. At first I started with Rex, which is the six-legged robot, um, and I really wanted to make it ice skate. So I thought it was also an artistic as well as a scientific goal to explore how Rex would behave on a low friction surface. It turns out that Rex is very good at walking no matter what service it's on. Uh, so that was a, a fun introduction to the challenges and trials of research. The following year I was actually able to help a graduate student with a more in-depth uh, research project. I was working with Avik Day on his Jerboa robot, um, which is a robot that has two legs and a tail. Even with two legs, it can do a wide range of behaviors. It can jump, leap, bounce. I was working with a framework that another graduate student had developed for the Rex robot um, on how to get it to leap. And I took that framework and sort of translated it for a two-legged system and was able to sort of show that this is, the, the framework can describe these leaps in a mathematical, analytical way, uh, despite the very large differences in, in what the robots actually look like and how they actually move. And I ended up being able to publish my work and I got to present it as well. Robot Revolution is a museum exhibition put on by the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. Uh, it showcases 40 robots from eight different countries, and over 35 of them you can actually interact with. Through my research at Penn, I met the organizers of this exhibit. Uh, they were really interested in Rex. Uh, they were really interested in having that robot in the exhibit to showcase uh, its locomotion. Uh, so I met them and they mentioned that uh, there was this job that involved taking care of robots, fixing them and playing around um, with robots all day and I thought that sounded really interesting. The work that the robot technicians do is open and people can look in and watch us as we're repairing things. When we have a soccer robot on the field that all of a sudden isn't kicking the ball and is driving into a wall, we'll go through a process to figure out what the problem is and then how to debug it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and repair the robot. And all of that is in view of the public. Um, and so young kids, people who are interested in robotics, people who have never seen or heard of engineering before, um, get a chance to see that firsthand. I think one of the most challenging things about robotics is that it involves so many different disciplines. Uh, so not only are you designing a mechanical system, uh, you have electronics and programming to worry about too. So and that's also one of the unique things about robotics is since you need that group, it's a lot more of a collaborative uh, discipline than some of the other engineering disciplines. I'm really interested in uh, seeing a project go from an idea 
to a completed thing that's useful, that you can hold in your hands. Robotics is a really obvious sort of choice when you're thinking about creating something from an idea to a, to a product.